Hello, it's time for Making Gaskets 101. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a gasket for this opening in the side of the MGB 1800cc engine. It's a piece of paper, and I'm just going to tuck it up here so it stays pretty much by itself. Just like that. Got a crayon. We're going to cut our own gaskets to fit this hole. But in order to find out what hole, what size the hole is, and how to cut the gasket, we need a template. Now look at that. That easy. We know how big, how wide, and what the corners look like. There you go. Pretty cool, huh? Now, I have my template. I'm going to cut around the outside of this here using this material, which is this Felpro gas material, which I've used in the past for the size of the MGB engine, and it does a great job of sealing. So I'm going to do it again. Now, I'm going to cut this out, and then I'm going to show you how to transfer it to the gasket material. First time I did this, I tried to put this template on gasket material, and transfer it that way. But what I found out was, if you cut it out nice and close, and then use that as your template, you can draw the section of the, of the uh, gasket material that you want to cut out. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to cut a smaller piece here. All right, now. With this template, which we were using, and we did that twice, so this side, and there we go. With this template that we're using, I've now cut a piece of gasket material that's larger than the hole we're going to be using. As you can see, it's larger by quite a bit. And I don't have to work with, with trying to hold this thing flat. It still has a bit of a warp to it, or a as you can see. So uh, what I'll do is I'll heat this up in the microwave for 15 seconds and it'll lay flat. And then I can cut the center out of this. And it, Well, first I'll trim it to size. I'll trim it down to this size here. And then I'll cut the center out of this and I'll transfer that information onto this gasket material. And we'll cut the center out of the gasket. Actually, what I will do before I get that far is I'm going to test fit the paper template on the, the cover. Which is currently here, waiting to be painted. And the reason I'm going to do that is because of that. Oops, because of that odd shape right there. I want it to fit inside that odd shape. So we will cut the uh, gasket to fit accordingly. As you can see. 15 seconds in the microwave did a lot to uncurl this. When it comes out of the microwave, it's actually very, very warm. You gotta be careful. Uh, and you just sort of give it a little bit of a back bend like this, and it'll lay flat. And what I did was I actually went and I cleaned my hands. So uh, in the time it took me to clean my hands, it picked up some of the curl again. But there's far less curl than there was. Certainly it's gonna be easy for me to attach, or rather trace, this template onto that material. Yeah. You can see my line. I've used the manufactured edge there and the manufactured edge here for the gasket. So I only have to cut off this and then that corner around this way and I'll cut down here. This corner over here on our um, template, you can see that, that the edge just extends. That's because the metal between this tappet cover and the tappet cover that's sitting over here is continuous, it's flat. So we can cut that anywhere we want after we have the inside edges cut to match the other, um, the actual thing that's going on here, the tappet cover itself. And I want to, of course, cut that, like I said, after it's painted. Okay, let's check and see how we did. Okay, well, let's get something back up here in white. There we go. You can see the curve there. And you can see this, and it kind of matches pretty good all the way around. I'm going to turn it over so you can see, get rid of the red, so you can see just how well we did. See, not bad at all. So, right. That's more alignment with one hand than it is anything else. There we go. See, it lines up nicely there. 
Lines up nicely there and there. This will be this will be fine. So now we got to go paint that tappet cover, and then we'll bring it in and see what we can do about making our template here fit the tappet cover perfectly. This is the side cover to the MGB. This is the forward cover with the crankcase ventilation tube coming off of it. And you can see how our paint job came out after the uh, wire brush prep. It looks pretty good. Not too bad. Okay, on this side, we're now going to work on cutting this gasket here to size for that. What I'm going to do is we're going to take our template that we had, this one, I'm going to pop this screw back through. You know, I've got to get myself a tripod for this camera. I'm going to pop the screw through, like so. And then we'll just line it up here. That's correct this way and I will cut it down to size and we'll see what we can come up with. There's our gasket template and you can see it's fairly decent. I'm going to have to straighten up some of the edges um, in cutting the Felpro material but that should be fine. One last thing that I'm going to do however is I'm going to trim it to the edges of the uh, like this. You can see what I've done there. And trim it to the edges of the of the metal piece so the gasket doesn't hang out. As you can see, this side of the gasket is not straight. We got uh, the edges up at the top here aren't straight. Uh, this doesn't fit perfectly, but the the material is going to mate beautifully with the side of the engine because the, the engine's flat and we have a very nice broad area all the way around to make contact both with the uh, underside of this and the side of the engine and this will be just fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, gasket template and I'm going to fix some of the little issues on the gasket template and uh, then use that to cut the material because among other things I want it to go all the way to the top of this simply so that uh, we don't have a catch point up there for grease and dirt and stuff. The size of this gasket material here is actually slightly smaller now than the size of this just because of a slight cutting error over there. And we'll just, now all I'm going to do is just trace the corners and cut out the inside and we'll be set to go. So what I have to do, and I can't do this and hold the, the uh, camera at the same time, is push this down like this, line it up perfectly, which I can't do with one hand trace the inside with a pen. I'll, I'll do that and I'll show you that. And then I'll cut it out using a razor knife and scissors. I'm test fitting the gasket now and I found that the gasket material, which is thicker than the paper, is sitting a little bit different from the way the, uh, the paper did. And I'm going to have to take a little bit off right here, and a little bit off right here, and a little bit off in this corner over here. And to make it all sit. I might even have to take some off at the upper corner up there. But uh, it's going to take a little bit of, of um, adjustments. But we're pretty close. We're going to be able to just pop that right on there. And that'll be a great guy. I've, I've trimmed it down. I had to trim more and more off of right here and right here. And in order to make it easier to make that corner, I cut a little piece out of the middle there. But it now lays flat all the way around without any issues. All the way around, nice and flat. And so that'll work out fine. What we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of Permatex and we're going to actually put Bermatex on the back side of this, the side that's against this, that, that's against the, um, the, the item that we're mounting, uh, just enough all the way around to give it a seal, but also to give it uh, so it'll stick in place. And it's not a big deal. We're not going to use a lot. Uh, maybe about the, the amount th uh, that you use for toothpaste to brush your teeth and just smear it all along the entire gasket surface all the way around so that when we put it together it will stick to itself and then I'll, what I'll do is I'll put a nice thin coat on this side as well. The reason I use a thin coat of the, of the Permatex uh, material is because it does come off fairly easy. It, it does promote a seal but fills in any gaps, fills in any cracks, uh, acts like glue, holds it in place and since we're not going to run this car right away it can sit there for a week and cure. I use the black Permatex uh, partly because I'm using a black part, but also partly because it's capable of handling high temperatures. And when I say high temperatures, I'm referring to it'll handle five or 600 degrees. This is right below the exhaust uh, system. It's the side of the engine where there's no 
uh, uh, water jacket, uh, so I don't want to use the the uh, very low grade Permatex. I want to use the high the high temp per, uh, Permatex, and the black comes off fairly easy when it's time to pull this off the next time.